salutaris hostia, que celi pandis hostium, bella premur hostilia, Prayer of the Holy Spirit, 1, 5, 6, and 7. Come, Holy Spirit, creator blessed, and in our souls take up thy rest. Come with thy grace and heavenly aid to fill the hearts which thou hast made. Far from us drive the foe we dread and grant us thy peace instead. So shall we not with thee for guide turn from the path of life aside. O oh, may thy grace on us bestow, the Father and the Son to know, and thee through endless times confessed, of both the eternal Spirit blessed. Now to the Father and the Son, who rose from death, be glory given, with thou, O oh, holy Comforter, henceforth by all in earth and heaven. Amen. Opening prayer of the Blessed Sacrament. My Lord Jesus Christ, who for the love which you bear us, remained night and day in this sacrament, full of compassion and love, awaiting, calling, and welcoming all who come to visit you. I believe that you are present in the sacrament of the altar. I adore you from the abyss of my nothingness, and I thank you for all the graces which you have bestowed upon me and in particular for having given me yourself in this sacrament, for having given me your most holy mother Mary as my advocate, and for having called me to visit you in this church. I now salute your most loving heart, and this for three ends. First, in thanksgiving for this great gift. Secondly, to make amends to you for all the outrages which you receive in this sacrament from all your enemies. Thirdly, I intend by this visit to adore you in all the places on earth in which you are present in this sacrament, who are the least revered and the most abandoned. My Jesus, I love you with all my heart. I grieve for having hitherto so many times offended your infinite goodness. I intend by your grace never more to offend you for the time to come. And now, miserable and unworthy though I be, I consecrate myself to you without reserve. I give you and renounce my entire will, affections, my desires, and all that I possess. Henceforward, dispose of me and of all that I have as you please. All that I ask of you and desire is your holy love, final perseverance, and the perfect accomplishment of your will. 
I recommend to you the whole souls in purgatory, and especially those who had the greatest devotion to the most blessed sacrament and to the most blessed Virgin Mary. I also recommend to you all poor sinners. Dear Jesus, Savior, I unite all my affections with this affections of your most loving heart to your eternal Father and beseech him in your name to vouchsafe for your love to accept and grant them. Amen. In time for the page three, three, we remember our children, and we ask Our Lady a special blessing as we say, with this rosary, I bind my children to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. We remember all of their various prayers, concerns, needs, the many people have asked us for prayer. We ask that the Lord bless those concerns and efforts as we pray this rosary. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Come, Holy Spirit, come by means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, your well-beloved spouse. Come, Holy Spirit, come by means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, your well-beloved spouse. Come, Holy Spirit, come by means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, your well-beloved spouse. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. For Pope, bishops, and priests, we pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. For the virtues of faith, hope, and charity, hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The first glorious mystery is the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. The angel spoke, Do not be frightened. I know you are looking for Jesus, the crucified but he is not here. He has been raised exactly as he promised. Fruit of the mystery, faith. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The second glorious mystery is the ascension into heaven. He led them out near Bethany, and with hands upraised, blessed them. As he blessed them, he left them and was taken up to heaven. Luke 24. Fruit of the mystery, hope. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, 
and blessed is the fruits of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruits of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The third glorious mystery is the descent of the Holy Spirit. Tongues as of fire appeared, which parted and came to rest on each of them. All were filled with the Holy Spirit. Acts chapter 2. Fruit of the mystery, love of God. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The fourth glorious mystery is the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Blessed are you, daughter, by God most high, above all women on earth, and may the Lord God be blessed, the creator of heaven and earth. Judith, chapter 13. Fruit of the mystery, grace of a happy death. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. <clears throat> Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. <clears throat> Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. <clears throat> Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those the most need of thy mercy. The fifth glorious mystery is the coronation of Mary. A great sign appeared in the sky, a woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet, and on her head a crown of twelve stars. Revelation 12, fruit of the mystery, trust in Mary's intercession. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, <laughs> pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother, Mother of God, pray, pray for, for us sinners, sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament Give 
peace of our sins. Save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are most need thy mercy. In their rosary prayer. O oh God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant, we beseech thee, that by meditating upon these mysteries of the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Saint Michael, the Saint Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And, and thou, O oh Prince of the heavenly hosts, hosts of the by the power of God, cast, cast into, into hell Satan, Satan and all the evil spirits, spirits who prowl about, about the world, seeking, seeking the ruin of souls. souls. Amen. Amen. Angels pray. O oh, most holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, I adore thee profoundly. I offer thee the most precious body, blood, soul, and divinity of Jesus Christ present in all the tabernacles of the world, in reparation for the outrages, sacrilegious, and indifference by which he is offended, by the infinite merits of the Sacred Heart of Jesus and the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I beg the conversion of poor sinners. Pardon. My God, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love thee. I beg pardon for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, and do not love thee. I beg, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love thee. I beg pardon for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, and do not love thee. My God, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love thee. I beg pardon for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, and do not love thee. Amen. Now let me. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us, Christ hear us. God, the Father of heaven, God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, God, the Holy Spirit, Holy Trinity, one God, Holy Mary, Holy Mother of God, Holy Virgin of virgins, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Mother of mercy, Mother of divine grace, Mother of hope, Mother most pure, Mother most chaste, Mother inviolate, Mother undefiled, Mother most amiable, Mother most admirable, Mother of good counsel, Mother of our Creator, Mother of our Savior, Virgin most prudent, Virgin most venerable, Virgin most renowned, Virgin most powerful, Virgin most merciful, Virgin most faithful, mirror of justice, seed of wisdom, cause of our joy, spiritual vessel, vessel of honor, singular vessel of devotion, mystical rose, tower of David, tower of ivory, house of gold, ark of the covenant, gate of heaven, Morning star, health of the sick, refuge of sinners, comfort of migrants, comforter of the afflicted, help of Christians, queen of angels, queen of patriarchs, queen of prophets, queen of apostles, queen of martyrs, queen of confessors, queen of virgins. Queen of all saints. Queen conceived without original sin. Queen assumed into heaven. Queen of the most holy rosary. Queen of families. Queen of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Of God, the of the world. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. Let us pray, grant we beseech you, Lord God, 
that we, your servants, may rejoice in continual health of mind and body, and by the glorious intercession of Blessed Mary, the Ever-Virgin, may we be delivered from present sorrow to delight in joy eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Christus incit, Christus reinat, Christus Christus imperat. Francisco sumo pontifice universale, patri, pax videt salus perpetua. Christus vincit, Christus reinat, Christus Christus imperat. Tempura bona venian, pas Christi venian. Per immaculatum cor Maria regnum Christi venian. Christus vincit, Christus reinat, Christus, Christus imperat. And I want to hail Mary for the International Director, Father Luca Pescatori, for priests who may be in crisis of faith, and for all our bishops, priests, and deacons. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. To defeat the work of Satan, O Divine Eternal Father, in union with your Divine Son and the Holy Spirit, and through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I beg you to destroy the power of the greatest enemy, the evil spirits, and cast them into the deepest recesses of hell, and chain them there forever. Take possession of your kingdom, which you have created, and which is rightfully yours. Heavenly Father, give us the reign of the Sacred Heart of Jesus and the Immaculate Heart of Mary. I repeat this prayer out of pure love for you with every beat of my heart and with every breath I take. Amen. May the divine assistance remain with us always. Salve Regina. Mater misericordiae, vita dulcedo, et spes nostra salve. A te clamamus, exules filieve, a te suspiramus. Gementes et flentes, in hac lacrimarum vale. Ea ergo, advocata nostra, illos tuos misericordes oculos, ad nos converte. Ad Jesum, benedictum fructum ventris tui, nobis post 
the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Entry number 72, April 25, 1975, Feast of St. Mark the Evangelist. Do not grieve me by your doubt. My most beloved son, you have now almost completed the work which I have entrusted to you. Take refuge now in my immaculate heart. I want you here to strengthen you and to protect you at the time of the terrible trial. My beloved sons, priests consecrated to my heart, listen again to the voice of your mother who is gently admonishing you that you may be prepared for the great events which are now weighing upon the world. Be truly and only mine. Give yourselves to me without reserve. After you have been consecrated to my Immaculate Heart, let there be no other concern within you but to allow yourselves to be led by me as little children. Think no longer of your past. There are some among you who are still dwelling upon their past, feeling again the pain of many wounds which I have healed. And they are, as it were, impeded from giving themselves totally to me. They are impeded by this thought. Is it possible that I, after all my shortcomings and infidelities, could be truly chosen and especially loved by the Heavenly Mother? Oh, my, oh my children, my heart overflows with tenderness for you, precisely because you are small and weak, because you have sometimes fallen, because you feel yourself to be so frail. By yourselves, my little children, you would never be able to surmount that which is awaiting you. And this is why I want to enfold you in my immaculate heart. I myself will be your security and your defense. There are some among you who are still caught up in the temptation of doubt and criticism. After all I have done for you, Do not grieve my heart by your doubt, by your incredulity. Have you not yet learned to let yourselves be guided by me? Overcome this temptation by prayer. From my priests, I want only prayer and confidence in me. Every moment which is not spent by them with me in the most complete abandonment is, as it were, lost to them and taken away from me. And this deeply grieves my motherly heart. The time has come when some of my priest sons are preparing to openly oppose my son, myself, the Pope, and the Church. I will then be no longer able to recognize them as my children. I myself will come down from heaven to place myself at the head of the cohort of my beloved sons, and I will crush their plots. After a great upheaval and the purification of the earth, my immaculate heart will sing of its victory in the greatest triumph of God. It is for this moment, my beloved priests, that I have called you one by one from all parts of the world and have made you ready. This is no longer a time for doubt and uncertainty. This is the time of battle. Each one of you should let himself be enfolded by me in my immaculate heart.
I don't have a lot to add to that. I think it speaks to each and every one of us. I mean, who here hasn't doubted? Who here hasn't re redressed, refelt, resented, right? Resentire in the, in the Latin is to feel again their past. Oh, I'm terrible. I'm the worst. God can't love me. Mary can't love me. I can't do anything. I've done this. I've done that. I'm guilty. I'm unlovable. These are the voices of the enemies, right? These are the voices of the demons. And they try to crowd out that motherly love that Mary brings to us, right, as the principal messenger outside of the Trinity, right? Jesus has said all of the same things on the cross. From the cross, he says all the same. You are loved. If he can say to those who are crucifying, he can pray a prayer, forgive them, Father, they know not what they do. Why would, look, why would Jesus look differently at you, at me? But we hear that voice. Last week in the convocation, we, we heard of the third voice. Uh, St. Ignatius uh, brings this to the attention of us. We, we know this is, sometimes the saints just put a little bit of a, a finger on what we kind of already know, right? So there's your voice. There's God's voice. And then there's the voice of the evil one, right? It's always, all three are always in our head. Oh, yeah, I got to go. To the, I got to get to the store. I got to go here. I got to go to the garage. I got to do it. I got to drop off this. So, you know, we got that voice. Keeps us going. And this it usually crowds out God's voice, right? It's like God saying, you need to pray. You need to listen to me. <laughs> There's a different voice. We don't hear that very well because our voice is too loud. But then there's always the voice of the evil one. Ah, don't, don't, don't bother helping that person. I mean, they're, they're really not worthwhile. Don't waste your time with, with that, you know, deed. Or who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? Oh, my gosh, you're, you're terrible. Don't you remember what you did then? Remember what you said the other day? I mean, come on. What kind of Christian says those things? All of that, right? That's the third voice right there. That's the third voice putting doubts, making you feel terrible about yourself, reminding you of your sins, reminding you of all your faults. It's not God, that's not God's voice. Our, our lady will admonish us, as she says. Listen again to the voice of your mother who is gently admonishing you that you may be prepared for the great offense which are now weighing upon the world. God will bring to mind, you know, faults, especially as you go to confession, that's where you want God's voice to work and remind you of what you need to remember to be sorry for. But then you dump it in the steel trap and the priest throws it into the ocean, right? That's where it goes. Let it go. But the third voice will always be there, will always be there to bring it back to your mind. Cast it out. Cast it out. Do not grieve me by your doubt, by your incredulity. Overcome this temptation by prayer. It's very specific. Overcome. When we hear those doubts, when we hear those reminders of our weaknesses, of everything we've done wrong, that's a classic also from St. Ignatius. Agere contra. Act against it. Go right against it. And turn to God in prayer. Rather than give in to doubts and all that voice, you turn to God and say, Lord Jesus, what's the divine mercy image? Lord Jesus, I trust in you. Lord Jesus, I trust in you. And we trust in Mary. Again, she's quite clear that hard times are coming. Hard times will be there for the priests. But she says, 
I'll be there with you. I'll be there with you. By yourselves, my little children, you would never be able to surmount that which is awaiting you. That is why I want to enfold you in my immaculate heart. I myself will be your security and your defense. Let us put our trust and our faith in Our Lady. She will only bring about God's plans for each and every one of us. Prayer of Consecration. Virgin of Fatima, Mother of Mercy, Queen of Heaven and Earth, Refuge of Sinners, we who belong to the Marian Movement of Priests, consecrate ourselves in a very special way to your Immaculate Heart. By this act of consecration, we intend to live with you and through you all the obligations assumed by our baptismal consecration. We further pledge to bring about in ourselves that interior conversion so urgently demanded by the gospel, a conversion that will free us of every attachment to ourselves and to easy compromises with the world, so that like you, we may be available only to do always the will of the Father. And as we resolve to entrust to you, O Mother most sweet and merciful, our life and vocation as Christians, dispose of it according to your designs of salvation, in this hour of decision that weighs upon the world, we pledge to live it according to your desires, especially as it pertains to a renewed spirit of prayer and penance, the fervent participation in the celebration of the Eucharist, and in the works of the apostolate, the daily recitation of the Holy Rosary, and an austere manner of life in keeping with the gospel, that shall be to all a good example of the observance of the law of God and the practice of the Christian virtues, especially that of virtue, of purity. We further promise you to be united with the Holy Father, with the hierarchy, and with our priests, in order thus to set up a barrier to the growing confrontation directed against the magisterium that threatens the very foundation of the church. Under your protection, we want, moreover, to be apostles of this sorely needed unity of prayer and love for your, the Pope, on whom we invoke your special protection. And lastly, insofar as it is possible, we promise to lead those souls with whom we come in contact to a renewed devotion to you. Mindful that atheism has caused shipwreck in the faith to a great number of the faithful, that desecration has entered into the holy temple of God, and that evil and sin are spreading more and more throughout the world. We make so bold as to lift our eyes trustingly to you, O Mother of Jesus, and our merciful and powerful Mother. And we invoke again today and await from you the salvation of all your children. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. For the priests, Virgin of Fatima, Mother of Mercy, Queen of Heaven and Earth, Refuge of Sinners, we who belong to the Marian movement of priests, called to form the cohort of your priests today, consecrate ourselves in a very special way to your Immaculate Heart. By this act of consecration, we intend to live with you and through you all the obligations assumed by our baptismal and priestly consecration. We further pledge to bring about in ourselves that interior conversion which will free us of all human attachment to ourselves, our career, our comfort, or to easy compromises with the world so that, like you, we may be available only to do always the will of the Lord. And as we resolve to entrust to you, O Mother most sweet and merciful, our priesthood, so that you may be so that you may dispose of it for all your designs of salvation in this hour of decision that weighs upon the world, we pledge to live it according to your desires, especially as it pertains to a renewed spirit of prayer and penance, the fervent celebration of the Holy Eucharist and the liturgy of the hours, the daily recitation of the Holy Rosary, the offering of the Holy Mass in your honor on the first Saturday of every month, and a religious and austere manner of life that shall be a good example to all. 
we further promise you the greatest loyalty to the gospel, of which we shall always be genuine and courageous heralds, even if necessary to the shedding of our blood. We promise loyalty to the church for whose service we have all been consecrated. Above all, we wish to be united with the Holy Father and the hierarchy firmly adhering to all their directives so as thus to set up a barrier to the growing confrontation directed against the magisterium that threatens the very foundation of the church. Under your maternal protection, we want, moreover, to be apostles of this sorely needed unity of prayer and love for the Pope on whom we invoke your special protection. And lastly, we promise to lead the faithful entrusted to our care to a renewed devotion to you. Mindful that atheism has caused shipwreck in the faith to a great number of the faithful, that desecration has entered into the holy temple of God, not sparing even many of our brother priests, and that evil and sin are spreading more and more throughout the world, we make so bold as to lift our eyes trustingly to you, O Mother of Jesus, and our merciful and powerful Mother. And we invoke again today and await from you the salvation of all your children. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Amen. I love you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, Son of the living God, have mercy on me. Tantum ergo sacramentum venere murcernui et antiquum No voce da ritui, restet fide supplementum, sensum defectui, genitori, genitoque. Laus ad jubilatio. Salus honor virtus quoque. Sit ad benedictio. Roche denti abutroque. Now let's give them bread from heaven. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Let us pray, O oh God, when this wonderful sacrament left us a memorial of thy passion, grant, we implore thee, that we may so venerate the sacred mysteries of thy body and blood, as always to be conscious of the fruit of thy redemption. Thou who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Blessed be God, blessed be his holy name. 
Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the paraclete. Blessed be the great mother of God, Mary, most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, virgin and mother. Blessed be St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God and his angels and in his saints. May the heart of Jesus, in the most blessed sacrament, be praised, adored, and loved with grateful affection at every moment in all the tabernacles of the world, even to the end of time. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the Father, send now your Holy Spirit over the earth. Let the Holy Spirit live in the hearts of all nations, that they may be preserved from degeneration, disaster, and war. May the Lady of all nations, the Blessed Virgin Mary, be our advocate. Amen. closing prayer, Eternal Father, we thank thee for this cenacle of life with our Blessed Mother. Please help us to live out the graces we received as she nourishes and forms us while we pray as true brothers, loving one another in the company of our Mother. Please help us gather together again in order to continue listening to her, to receive the gifts of the Holy Spirit by means of her and to become the instruments of her merciful work of salvation as we await the triumph of her immaculate heart. Eternal Father, please unite our cynical prayers with that of the whole mystical body of our Lord Jesus Christ, that we may obtain the fire of love of the Holy Spirit in preparation for the coming of thy kingdom and for the perfect fulfillment of thy divine plan through Our Lady's great work of love. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thanks for coming. Have a blessed night, everyone. <laughs>